said. Yes. Do tell. Shabby. Hi. Hi. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Mom. Ah, oh, both kitties, yeah. They're um, being hilarious right now, actually. I wonder how long this is going to last. Mom, that's really funny. It's almost like you're at, the, like it's your Wednesday night bar. And you just walk up to the bartender. I'll have my usual. You know, I'm going to save it for last, Mom. You got to hang out till the end. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Loopy. Loopy, I have to tell you right off the bat, I did not learn eastbound and down for tonight. It's too many words. I got to, I need a little, I need more time. But it's on the list. Also, maybe Sandy Beaches wants to play that song. I don't know. I haven't quite fit figured it out yet. Who's going to play it? Okay, so this is it, y'all. Kitty cats are freaking. Thanks, Lisa. I got my hair cut. What do you think, everybody? It was really big. Remember how big it was? Now it's really small. From Milan, Michigan. Loopy, great. Yeah, also, um, did you notice it's really super long, and then it's also really super short. So that's what we're going for. Hi, JK. Outside Detroit. Loopy, I know you get around in that truck. I know you're all over this country. Hello, Leslie. Oops. Okay, well, you know, I'm just hanging out for a sec. Upstate New York, representing. Adrian, tell me where you live. Because I don't know, actually. Thanks, Maggie. The lady that cuts my hair, um, she's really cool. And when I go see her, she, uh, I give her three words. So the, this time, my three words were short, sharp, shocked. So it's short sharp and then shocked because the shockingness is how long the back is well how short the top is hey lisa guess what that song is already on my list that was my request tonight well let's get started i have a few requests on the list from last week and i have a couple ideas of my own that i want to play and if you have any requests drop them in the comments i'd be happy to play them if i know them and uh We'll be here till about uh, 9 o'clock. Wednesday night, requests and dedications. Thank you, Rhea. <laughs> Hi, John. Sunburn this week? Saranac Lake, Stone's Throw from Montreal. Okay, I'll keep that in mind because I have a personal aim to get out there on my motorcycle one day. Maybe sooner than later. <gasps> Queen B, what's happening? Give us the update. I, I need to make a little adjustment here. Never mind, I'll do it later. <laughs> Adrian, I'm having a delicious bourbon tonight. It's called Redwood Empire. I've got a regular, uh, oh, thank you. It's Parisian, Parisian. I have a regular, I have a regular, uh, selection of bourbon over here at the moment. Thanks to friends like Maggie and Joe. And actually, thanks to all of you for your generous tips and donations. You have been keeping me afloat all spring, and I appreciate it so much. I know, uh, you know what, I, I owe you an update. Here's what's going on. I don't think it's time to start playing in public yet because I'm not comfortable inviting a million people out to any place. And if I'm going to go play someplace, I want to invite everybody. 
So I'm not quite ready to do that. So I'm going to be continuing with my three shows a week. I'm also making lots of shows for libraries for kids. And my YouTube channel is totally bumping. So if you want to watch me play and sing anytime, day or night, it's all on YouTube. And I'm going to keep coming back for my live shows uh, Wednesday nights at 8, Friday mornings at 11, Saturday nights at 9. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that, Adrian. So at Sandy Beach is Saturday night at 9. So I'm going to be doing this um, when I can for the foreseeable future. And as soon as I start playing in public, you'll know. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to stop playing for you internet folks because this has been such a wonderful experience and you've really made it rewarding for me in so many ways thank you so much queen bee i'm starting with your request because you could go into labor any second <laughs> The song goes out to Queen Bee, who's about to have a baby. <laughs> those lovely compliments my friends you know what I knew you'd make a big deal about my hair because it's all face now <laughs> thank you I really appreciate it thanks to, Nic to Nicolette Nicolette is out there I don't know if she's watching tonight but she cuts my hair we got a porch haircut with our masks on it was totally awesome I got to see her and her kid and she's a hair genius. So if anybody in St. Louis needs her haircut and you need a number, I don't know how many haircuts she's doing right now, but it's worth getting on the list. I'll tell you right now. Thanks, uh, Queen Bee, for that request. I was going to play a different song for an opener, but I played that instead. But now I'm going to play the song I thought I'd play for an opener. Just because I think it's beautiful and I haven't played it in a while.
Thank you. I don't even know who wrote that song. Uh, it, I, I learned it from a Ruby and the Romantics recording. And I also heard it, there's a great version by uh, <laughs> Daryl Hall from a television program called Live at Daryl's, if you're interested in that. Uh, okay, well, thank you so much. I have a couple requests from last week including this song by Tom T. Hall. Uh, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. What's the title? Joyce, it's Our Day Will Come. Hi, Joyce and Jerry. <laughs> Thank you, Dewey. Mm. My friend. Okay. Let's see here. The song goes like this, and this is for all y'all. Usually I play this song for kids, but tonight it's for you. I love you. Cree Rider, this is for you. We'll talk later, maybe tonight, okay? When your TV won't work and your toys fall apart and you have a sad feeling deep in your heart and you want to go out but it's raining out there I want you to know I care I care I do there's no one like you when they take you someplace sit in the chair I want you to know I care when you have a bad cold and you can't go out and you're sick for a week with a thing in your mouth and they're pulling your teeth and cutting your hair I want you to know I care, I care, I do, there's no one like you. So sometimes I act like a grumpy old bear, I want you to know I care. Tell a big lie And your parents are mean And being grown up Is a faraway dream And you sleep in the dark And there's something out there I want you to know I care I care I do There's no Mention your name when I'm saying my prayers. I want you to know I care. I love you too much. Thanks. That was dedicated to you. That was dedicated to you. I care. Thank you. Thank you for caring for me. Magdalena Buto. I don't know that song, but I'm writing it down because I think I should investigate this. All right, well, Jenna, you get a two for tonight because I can't remember who else uh, recommended this song, but I'd love to play it, actually. I wrote this song a long time ago, my friends. I wrote this song uh, for George W. Bush. Yeah, I felt I felt like this then. I don't even know what to say about that. Is that Paris? Yes, Paris. It's Paris. 
très fantastique. Wow, that was delicious. Uh, this song, let's see, I wrote this about one of the uh, one of the Middle Eastern wars, which honestly I can't help feeling like, you know, that book 1984. And in 1984 by George Orwell, it's always like Eurasia's fighting the other, and nobody knows who's fighting anybody anymore, but there's always a war going on. And it's kind of like that, right? Because there's always all these Middle Eastern wars, and then there's like, you know, a war on drugs, and there's a war on terrorism, and then there's a war on COVID, and then there's a war, you know, war for racial equality. Uh, <sighs> Kind of starting to feel like this is uh, some strategy. I mean, I, listen. I know, I know, I know what you're saying, but I'm a little exhausted by it. It is the Eiffel Tower, the Eiffel Tower. I don't think you'd say it like that. In Paris, Paris. <laughs> Big brother, I just wanted to let you know that you embarrassed me. I didn't send people away to die. I didn't even want to hurt a fly. But you keep lying, and it makes me look bad. It makes me look dumb and passive and naive. I should be able to enjoy the world without being embarrassed by your dishonesty. And disrespect every person has a right to make moral decisions as a matter of fact my whole life people have tried to influence my moral decisions and that's fine it's helped me to make up my mind and I've made up my Every person could promote peace by being patient and kind to one another. And I'm also convinced that every person could promote peace by rebuilding.
Thanks, everybody. I wrote that song about George W. Bush, but I just sang it just now, and I realized this is like very contemporary, okay? I'm talking about America. This whole ideal taught me about liberty, not police brutality, not fascism, not systemic racism, not redlining, not gerrymandering, not suppressing the vote. I'm talking about liberty. That's what we're talking about. Liberty and justice for all. So obvious. Okay? I'm just saying. And I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Man. I didn't think I liked that song so much. Thanks a lot, Jenna. <laughs> Thanks for the request. I wrote it. I wrote that. I'll probably see you next week, too. Thank you very much. Okay, so ne uh, next on the list. We can do better. We can do better, people. We can do better. Our friends and neighbors deserve it. Our community deserves it. We deserve it. We can do better. Just saying. Okay, so the next song, um, this is interesting. It's actually interesting, it's next on the list. Somebody requested it last week. I don't know this song, uh, but I did kinda, I kinda, fudged it for tonight and this is a John Lennon song that John Lennon wrote I don't know maybe about 1970 never really liked it that much but <laughs> I kind of, I'm kind of digging it today
Thanks for bringing that song to my attention. I don't remember who requested it last week, but I appreciate it. Hey, and I'm glad y'all love that song. It is really beautiful. It's beautiful. And you know, different people have different names for that. Utopia. Heaven. A better future. <laughs> I'm pretty old too, Lori. All right, well, I have another request. I put this on the list for me, uh, but you might like it. I learned this song from a movie. This is a, a Lerner and Lane song from a movie called On a Clear Day You Can See Forever. It was also a stage uh, production, but I love the movie because I love Barbara Streisand, and Barbara Streisand was the lead in On a Clear Day You Can Save Forever, and this song's called On a Clear Day You Can See Forever. I want to dedicate this song to the great weather we've been having, okay?
I was just noticing uh, while I was singing that song how um, last week, remember, I, I don't know, maybe you remember, maybe you don't, but I mentioned how uh, pleasurable it is for me to play for you while the sun goes down, while it's getting darker in my apartment. And I'm just thinking that this week it's 14 minutes longer, right? Or is that right? No, 28. It's 28 minutes longer. Two more hours at dawn, two, or two more minutes at dawn, and two more minutes at dusk. How about that? So we're actually watching this happen. It's almost the solstice. It's still light outside. I'm looking right now. Anyway, just a thought. I thought you might, uh, I don't know, whatever. Josh and Lisa. You like that, Wes? Yeah, they call it a mullet. This is a classic hairdo. You can ask for it by name. I learned this song from the Lou Rawls live record.
Thank you. Wes, Elizabeth, and Barb. <laughs> what a crew! <laughs> that was for you. That's dedicated to y'all. Actually, Barb, that's dedicated to you, and Wes and Elizabeth are uh, lucky recipients of the side effects. Okay? Playing. <laughs> Thanks, Ova. All right, well, Jenny, uh, you, you were saying since I got this haircut, there's a certain song I need to play. Is that right? I think so. Listen, y'all, here's what happened, okay? When I was a kid, when I was a little tiny kid, Mom, you can verify this. I was a little tiny kid. I had this beautiful, long, blonde, curly hair, and my and my mother, um, you know, she loved it, of course, and she liked to comb it and play with it or, like, put it up in whatever. I don't even know what she liked to do, but I hated it. I didn't like to have my hair mess with. So when I was about five years old, all my little, all my long hair that I'd grown since I was born, or I don't, I don't know, maybe I had a haircut. I don't really know what happened, but my mom took me to get it all cut off because she was tired of arguing with me about it. She cut it off real short. And since then, my entire life, I've always had pretty short hair. Until, you know, the last few years when I realized you can do both. You can see both. The mullet. The perfect hairstyle. Anyway, so the funny thing is about my mom is I feel like she's always loved to see me when I get my hair cut real short because I think she likes the look of my head. I think this is what I looked like when I was born. What do you think? There he is. There's my baby face. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom, for giving me birth and giving me life. You know what, I'm gonna dedicate this song to my mom because she has really short hair. Ah, uh, sorry, really straight hair. I grew up uh, with my mom getting perms. She wanted that curly hair and she loves my curly hair. And she also loves it when I have no hair because she likes to see my curly face.
Thank you. Thanks. Um, well, I have one more request on my list, and it's my request. I wanted to hear myself play the song tonight. Maybe I'm just trying to see if I still know it. Uh, but if you have some more requests... Oh, Mom, I mean, I'm going to play Child of the Wind last. It's going to be my closer. I'm going to play for about 15 more minutes. So if anybody has any requests they want me to play... I mean, I know, I know, you know, you get the regular ones, whatever. But, you know, I, I, I've got a couple ideas, too. So... Whatever you want. Whatever you want. I wanted to I wanted to sing this song. This is a song. Yeah, Amber, I'm thinking about it. I'll I'll let you know. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. How about this one? This is a Kansas song. Thanks to the great Glenn Campbell for making that song famous. But I believe that's a Jimmy Webb song. That's a Jimmy Webb song. That's right, Jimmy Webb. Who, uh, Glenn Campbell was a real champion of Jimmy Webb songs, you know? Like Dionne Warwick was the song, was the singer that made the songs of Burt Bacharach and Hal David famous. Burt, uh, Glenn Campbell really brought to life the songs of Jimmy Webb. So thank you very much. 
Lisa, I got that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I don't know what's going to happen. You know how I like to cry it. This is a song I wrote. I wrote this song a long, 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 long time ago. This, uh, this song was on my first record, Love O Rama. Came out in 20, 2001. We don't even say 2001, we say 2001. 2001. Love O Rama. This was the first cut. Let's see if I remember it.
Thank you. Fudged it. Fudged it a little bit. You know. You know I did. Anyway, thanks for the request. And um, thanks, Eric. Actually, I don't know any Fleetwood Mac. And I think... Maggie, also, never ending story. I'm putting on the list for next time. I don't know it. I have to look at a chart, but I have it. Because, as you know, Sandy Beach just keeps all these charts. So I'm just going to play one more song. I'm just going to play one more song for you, folks. Thank you so much. Yeah, I actually love the Mandrell sisters. Thanks uh, for that, too. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It was kind of like riding a bicycle, except for riding a bicycle, you can kind of like re rely on uh, momentum, inertia. I guess I, I that's what I did. Okay. Okay, well, everybody, thank you so much again. I love you so much. And like I said, I wanted to make sure and give you an update what's going on over here. Your gifts, your tips, and your support have been immeasurably valuable to me during... COVID-19 procedure, as my neighbor calls it. Uh, and thank you so much. I'm going to keep doing these live broadcasts from home for a while because I think uh, I'm not really ready to invite everybody I know out to the bar, you know. But I'm looking forward to getting back out uh, to the live world. But we're gonna. I'm going to just take my time with that. And I'll be coming back Wednesday night at 8. Friday mornings at 11 for kids and Saturday night special with Sandy Beach is 9 o'clock on, on, on Saturday. I also want to let you know, Sandy actually asked me to let you know that this Saturday night, 9 o'clock, Sandy Beach's Saturday night special is dedicated to parents and offspring and families. So if you are a parent, have a parent, are a child, or once a child, ever had parents, any of that. It's, it's dedicated to you. So usually he doesn't uh, drop his themes early, but this week he wanted to let you know because he thinks it's a real special theme. So that's that's what I'm saying. So uh, thanks again. Mom, thanks for this request, and thanks for all your support, everybody. It's meant the world to me. And um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to keep showing up. As long as you show up, I'm going to show up, I think. That's, what, that's my plan. I love you. My mom always likes to hear the song. I love the pounding of hooves. I love engines that roar. I love the wild music of waves on the shore. And the spiral perfection of a hawk when it soars. I love my sweet mama down to the core. There's roads and there's roads And they call, can't you hear it? Roads of the earth And roads of the spirit And the best roads of all Are the ones that aren't certain One of those is where you'll find me Till they drop the big curtain Hear the wind moan in the bright diamond sky These mountains are waiting Brown, green, and dry I'm too old for the term But I'll use it anyway I'll be a child of the wind Till the end of my day Sometimes it looks cursed Depends 
on what you look at, obviously. But even more, it depends on the way that you see. Hear the wind moan in the bright diamond sky. These mountains are waiting, brown, green, and dry. I'm too old for the turn, but I'll use it anyway. I'll be a child of the wind till the end of my day. Hear the wind moan in the bright diamond sky. These mountains are waiting, brown, green, and dry. I'm too old for the turn, but I'll use it anyway. I'll be a child of the wind. It's sung by Bruce Coburn. I love y'all. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all later.